Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on Bitcoin. We will take a look at the four hour time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by four hour in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours. So all this here may look like a few weeks worth of time. It's actually just the past several days broken down into four hour time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think there's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Monday and you know, with cryptos, friendly reminder, they, they're always open. That's really the easiest way to say it, 24 seven, 365. So they were even open over Christmas. Um, I hope everybody did have a good Christmas. So my point here though is that if you're watching this video 15, 20 hours from after I release it, yeah, the, the chart is gonna look different to you, but my goal here is to keep this video relevant for as long as possible, and I'm going to accomplish that by talking about more so general levels, and then walking you through some questions, and based on how you answer those questions, that'll dictate the current status of the chart whenever you're watching this. Now, the first level that really stands out, and I talked about this on Monday, is that pink line here which in the world of charts and which in, on my chart is denoting the 200 period simple moving average, a very important and a very famous level of support. And you can see that there's quite a bit of history now forming. Last time the price got down around it right there, a nice bounce ultimately did follow through. Is that a guarantee that another nice bounce is going to occur? I really wish trading was that easy. Now, would it be shocking to see some sort of bounce given that past history has shown that the price has you know, been able to bounce off it before? No, it would not be shocking, but it's just not a guarantee uh, that just doesn't exist in the market. But again, it, it's at least a rational thought. Uh, you know, in case in point, you know, when the price was just falling right here, at no point did it say, huh, I wonder if it's gonna bounce. Why would you think that when all, all it was doing was falling through kind of no man's land? At least now there's some history here with around that, you know, level. So to think that a price could bounce, you know, like I said, that's more than a rational thought. So question number one, though, let's say you're watching this video 15 hours from now is, all right, well, where does the price still stand relative to the pink line? or easier, let's just say, where's the price at relative to 3,800? If you are answering the question that the price is still up above 3,800, well, that implies that this current pullback that is underway really hasn't you know, picked up any more sort of bearish momentum. The price would still simply be going sideways. Now, a little bit of gut instincts needs to come into play. If you're watching this video, like I said, 15 hours from now, and you're saying, well, not only is the price up above 3,800, but it's up at 4,300, well, that would tell you that not only has this consolidation ended, but the bulls have shown back up with quite a bit of strength. But again, if you're just watching it and the price is still kind of just hovering down around this area, uh, you know, that's bullish in the sense of, okay, well, the bulls continue to, to build that base and, you know, haven't let the price pull back, you know, any more on top of what it's already done. Now, in the event you are answering the question that the price is down below 3,800, the next key question uh, that, you know, need to ask yourself is, okay, well, where's the price at relative to 3,650, which is that green line right there? In some sort of crazy situation, if you're answering the question that the price is actually down below there, that would basically imply that the chart is ruined or maybe ruins a little strong, but let me put it this way. The, the chart's got some severe problems if the price has actually worked its way all the way down below there because at that junction in time, you know, that would essentially be putting the price basically right back to where it all started before the big move and not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were not exactly what you wanna see as far as you know a, a true genuine movement. So we'll see what happens with it going forward. But yeah, next 24 hours looking like it'll be pretty interesting. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.